Selling boats faster. I'm Suzanne from Boat Shed Medway and today we're having a look at a lovely Fisher 25. So we'll start in the cockpit, have a look at the various winches or cleats. She's a lovely example. There is some varnish work that could be, well that does need to be tended to, but um, that's all the things on the to-do list this time of year. But overall the boat is actually presented very nicely. Got shore power here. Looking at the mizzen mast. Lovely new sails and new covers. All done this year by Wilkinson Sails, I believe. We've got a gas locker underneath this seat here. It's obviously your entrance here for companionway, taking you into the wheelhouse. Side decks on the starboard side, work our way round, decent grips on the side decks, allow for safe manoeuvring, and underway, also we've got grip on the coach roof too as you can see, and handrails. Here's the anchor locker here, as we move forward, it's your cleat, Bent to hatch. The current owner has installed a manual winch, which is a real bonus on a boat of this size. We have your furling gear. Moving around, you can now see the coach roof in all its glory. It's always impressed me. They've definitely got a lovely little ship feel, even though she's only 25, a Fisher 25. She still has that real air of importance around her. You feel very safe when you're moving around the decks. So we go. See the windows, which all look nice and tidy. And we follow around back to where we started in the cockpit. Now let's have a look inside this fissure. Here we are in the wheelhouse. You note on the side here that's a flip down seat for when you're underway. Here we have the wheel. There is also an emergency um, tiller. In actual fact, this owner quite likes sailing using the tiller, so he does use it quite a bit. Here's the navigational gear. VHF GSS radio. Connect it up with your chart plotter. I believe that there's charts um, that are quite extensive here, the sea map charts. The wind and depth instruments, your navman tracker, dashboard. Then we've got quite a new looking plastimo compass as well. Notice that the window opens up, so you've got plenty of light and ventilation in here too. Now, another interesting feature here, the owner's got battery monitors, the level of charge. Matrix panel, fuse box and battery charger. Here we 
here we have the helm seat which again flips up if you prefer to stand up this is quite ingenious there is a fridge in here with a cooler unit very handy if you want a nice cold drink while you're sailing again windows all the way around totally panoramic view which is ideal look out there to the cockpit now we'll go down below decks I was quite impressed by how spacious this boat is for a 25 footer the current owner of the boat is six foot four and he says he has no problem using the forward berth he has a family of four so it's got um, they all fit on nicely he's enjoyed sailing so much and he's actually looking to get the next fisher up so we've got a cupboard here which ingeniously conceals cooker or oven should I say there we are plenty of work surface area and drawers and we have a two ring gas burner with a nice grill underneath and then we have a sink with drainer as well Lights, barometer, and light. Now, the saloon converts into a double. You can see on the floor there, you can either place a long pole in there for the table, or you can use the table as an insert, and there's an extra pad in the forward cabin to make up the double bed there. Going forward, plenty of storage there. There's the forward berth. Nice looking upholstery. Here's the infill for the uh, saloon when you convert it to a double berth. The linings in here have recently been done and I believe the boat was subject to um, refurbishment inside around about six years ago. Um, I think a lot of money has been spent on this boat over the years and you can tell because she doesn't smell horrible and she's a very good example given her age <laughs> all in all a very very nice boat main thing on the to-do list for this boat is some varnishing outside The owner has kindly agreed, um, well offered actually, to start the engine up. Matthew, if you would kindly start the engine up for me. She benefits from an engine which has got around about 110 hours on her. A Beta 25 that was installed in 2006, but not really used I believe until 2008. As you can hear, purrs away nicely as you would expect. And there's no horrible... Steam or smoke coming out the back of her 